Hello, 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 hello. It's another rot conversation or expectation or gist or apropos, whatever you call it. <laughs> I hope you're getting ready to come in. I'm just yeah. going to wait to see the first person before I begin to go. You have to wait for me. Let me put my phone. Um, where is everyone this afternoon? It's a rot conversation brewing. Yes. And yes. we want to see who will be the first to jump online this afternoon. Let me see who gets in first. And then I can it's tell. A gift. Oh yeah, I it's have two people. Gift. Please put your name down if you are the first person to get in. You may just get a gift. <laughs> Who's this first person who jumped in? I need to see your name. I can't see it, but you need to test it and put your name as number one if you are the first person. <laughs> your name and then number one. When I see it, I would um, tell you what it is that you get. So if you are the first person to get in, put your name and number one. Put your name and number one. Welcome, 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 welcome. It is a pleasure to have you join us. It's another rot up procession this afternoon okay rot conversation okay rot gist whatever yeah. but yes we are here who is the number one ah Who's and Marishola is number one okay so you get a <laughs> gift from me i will tell you what the gift is yes. before i leave oh yeah that's really good and who is number two from me too okay <laughs> you, you see mrs olume says, says you get a gift from her as well so who is number two who is number two? Who is number two? Who was number two to come in? Who was number two to come in? I can't see your name. I cannot see your name. Oh. Who was number two? Let's see who is going to claim the second position. Who was number two? Okay. Who is number two? Nida. Okay, Nida Equ and uh, Nida, are you going to be at ROT this um, this Saturday? Well, Mfunk also says she's number two. <laughs> ha, ha, how many number twos do I now have? Okay, so number one, two, three. All three of you get a gift. So that's um, um, Auntie Moji, um, Star Nida, and um, Star Mfunk. So whoever is at ROT, you get your gift. The rest of you, you your gift will be mailed to you somehow, but you will bear the cost of having to send it to you. I hope uh, uh, Kemi says she's number two. So oh, I'll now we have. Okay, you see <laughs> the problem now? I do not know how to deal with that. But because it's a lavish season, exactly. we are adding Kemi to the to the equation. Ah, uh, Chiara says she's number two. Now I'm in trouble. Oh boy, 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 boy. So what do we do? Okay, so welcome, welcome, welcome. It's another conversation time. And this one, we probably will shoot, overshoot one hour. Who knows if we have stuff to say. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm welcoming all of you. I see Sylvia. I see Ungozi. I see Nida. I see, ah, Antika, good evening. Big, good morning. Oh, yes, it's morning good for morning. you. Good morning, big <laughs> sis. How that side be? Yes, <laughs> hi, yeah, me see. How are you doing? Yes, mm -hmm. Ungozi, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are waiting for Stahunene to join us yes. this afternoon. It's shaping up to be a great afternoon. Can you see that lavish is lavishing already? Lavishing. Can you see it? Oh my God. We are lavishing. <laughs> anyway, for those of you who don't know this woman, she's my sister. Her name is Dr. Irene Olu Messi. Mm -hmm. And then um, Dr. Irene first spoke at Rod in 2014. Yeah. But, and since then, she's attended except for. 2019, 2019, 2019 and then 2020 when, there when was, nobody could well, travel. We did it online. Yes, we yes. did online. <laughs> online. So it, between 2014 and now, she's missed only once. Yeah. Only <laughs> once. This and then just think one. about that. So um, let me let her greet you because I'm too excited. Hello, everybody. You can see my excitement. It's such a joy to be here this afternoon and uh, looking out for an awesome time together as we gist, we do our propos, as my sister calls it, 
and just you know encourage you to be expectant as you prepare for rough 2022 it is lavish and believe me i am full of great expectations for what god wants to do i mean what god has been ministering to me it's uh, mind-boggling and we'll come to that later yes come to that later okay so <laughs> last night i was thinking about us because every night now i have to think about this thing yes <laughs> so last night or maybe the early hours of today i was thinking about the rod conference oh by the way Hunen, i'm trying to add you facebook <laughs> says you're having technical issues Good, yeah. so i'm hoping that you can join us i really want to hear your take on this but while we wait for you we will carry on the conversations okay so i was telling you how i was thinking about rod and the lord dropped a word into my heart he dropped the word authority wow. he dropped the word authority and i can't even tell you exactly mm -hmm. what i was thinking i just know that yes mm -hmm. roth she goes yeah yes so <laughs> your sister is here I'm she's here. hoping to hug you yes, on saturday so. in jesus name <laughs> amen we have an unfinished matter yes uh -huh. <laughs> so the lord spoke to me about the word authority and I have been mulling that over and mulling that over. Mm, and mm. if I had to start from where I'd naturally start, naturally start it would be, BJ, what authority do you have to convey this conference? Mm. And then there are many things I could say, but um, it really didn't, doesn't matter. <laughs> I, the only authority I have is that God told me to do it. Yeah. And until he changed his mind or he stops me from doing it, mm. I will be doing it. So God <laughs> told me to do it. It's the authority that I have. And as far as I'm concerned, there is no authority higher than that, that than yes, the God of heaven right. has conscripted you mm -hmm. or employed you to get something done. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. is the authority that I have. <laughs> but I'll keep quiet to hear from <laughs> Dr. Irene. What exactly is the Lord saying to you about the Rod Conference? Wow, it's um, it's the first thing that came to me was an outpouring of extravagant love of God. Mm -hmm. There is an experience of an out of God's extravagant love on his people. And for me, there is a vision that I have of extravagance when it comes to outpouring. It's the jet dough, what we call um, the fountain on Lake Geneva. When it pours out the water, it reaches almost a kilometer into the sky. And then you see it cascading down. If you're anywhere around it, it's going to awash you with water. And that is the way I'm feeling with Roth 2022, an outpouring, cascading on us of God's extravagant love. Ah. Hi, Pastor mm -hmm. Ibiye. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining our broadcast today. We're just here doing a bit of tatafo about <laughs> Roth so that those who have made up their mind to go to the farm that day can mm -hmm. reconsider. Please, mm -hmm. Saturday is not the day to go to the farm. Not even from <laughs> Saturday. Thursday, hold your device close because yes. great things are going to be happening. God is going to be releasing all kinds of things. It's Something amazing. happened yesterday. Mm. My husband, um, um, Pastor Mark, went to record one of the sessions for the two days mm. that is coming. And I wasn't there because I am determined to feed on this fresh. So I mm. didn't go there. But someone who was there, the technical person who was um, um, overseeing the uh, the 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 process mm. said to me, oh my God, she was like, I, do, I, don't, I don't want to tell you. I said, do not tell me. Me too, I want to eat it. <laughs> but, right. but I could hear already, people already mm. saying to me that even in the recording that mm. there was a tangible mm. presence mm. of God in that room. Mm. Now imagine what it becomes. It, as far as I'm concerned, it becomes multiplied when you all oh, bring God, your okay. little, little yeah. lights. You know, all our small, small lights. Yeah. It doesn't have to be... A, a floodlight. If mm. your light is candle, bring it. If it's a <laughs> lamp, bring it. If it's rechargeable, bring it. If it is the light from your phone. The point is, the when we join the conversion or, yeah. or the convergence of yeah. the light, yeah. we'll begin to release something mm. that only God can tell mm. in eternity mm. what that is going to be. Mm. So, mm. um, Two things I've said. Number one, the presence of God. Yeah. And number one, authority, the mm -hmm. authority. So you need to come understanding that God has given you the capacity. He's mm -hmm. giving you the authorization to show up. Mm -hmm. You don't show up and begin to call. Mm -hmm. That's the thing about wrath. Mm -hmm. We will just mm -hmm. keep, usually we'll keep a table 
for the speakers. After that, it's fair play. Just come in and sit wherever you want to sit. If you want to sit in the very first table, please feel free. It is your father's house. Mm. Just carry all of your swag and go there yes. and sit down there. Yeah. Because the Lord is said to address some mm. issues. Mm. There's something else that had happened that made me see that God will not leave a vacuum at this rut. Mm. God mm. is not going to allow a vacuum to be created. Yeah. God is not going to allow a vacuum to be mm. to be to be left mm. so even those of us who have gaps i am believing prophetically by the grace and mercy of god that when we show up mm. our gaps will begin to close up mm. because mm. the holy spirit will be there mm. the father the son and the spirit the trying god will be there yes. to make sure that we yes. have no gaps we are coming for an infilling and an mm. overflow yeah imagine yeah. it comes in it feeds you then it overflows to others yes. there will be no one who mm. would leave the wrote prophetic conference 2022 mm. who will not feel empowered to do something mm -hmm. irene tell me your past experiences are wrote. what would you want to share which one <laughs> which Maybe. where do i begin I from know. where do i start from I do but you see before they actually start on that let me say something about this authority mm -hmm. because i mean there was something that got revealed to me this morning as I was just meditating and thinking about wrath you know and you know when we draw close to wrath i come to wrath with an expectation and i come to wrath because there's something tangible that i want to take away from wrath mm -hmm. and there has never been any year that i've come to wrath that i have not gone away with something to work with something to go ahead with and i have my notes already even from this morning and what i'm saying to you about coming about authority was that jesus was saying that bring everything that seems hopeless every convoluted situation bring it and give it to me hmm. that there's going to be a coming together of broken pieces wow right and those things that seems hopeless dead in your hands that it's going to breathe life into it i mean you remember the story of that demon possessed um uh, son hmm. that the father brought to G jesus christ and when the demon left him they said he appeared to be dead Anything that appeared to be dead, when Jesus touched him and lifted him, he came back to life. I need you still to drop that right now, that you need to walk in that authority of what Jesus has, is, done. has done and what he is poised to release at wrath. Mm. Don't miss that. Okay. So she's talking about <laughs> broken pieces. Mm broken pieces <laughs> uh, i i can identify with broken pieces mm. and i can identify with the lord gathering mm. and taking what men have discarded mm. what men had said was no longer useful mm -hmm, mm -hmm, i've seen mm -hmm. god take it and reuse it again i've seen <laughs> god pull it together and just make something brand new out of it so perhaps you're saying I have to go to wrath because I need to meet with God. My life is too broken. I need mm. to know whether there is hope oh, for me. Hope That's for your you. word there already. That's that God is coming you. by his spirit, by the tsunami of his lavish love yes. to come and pull together yes. even the things we said were broken and were no longer mm. useful. Mm. The Lord is going to bring them together. There would be, Again, I want to repeat it. I don't want you to forget it. There would be nothing mm. that is a vacuum. Yes. There will be no vacuum by the time you are living. Absolutely. There will be no vacuum in the name of Jesus. God is so mindful. That's another thing that I have noticed mm. in this road. Yeah. The mindfulness of, of God. God. Not just mind mindful boggling. of me mm. and you know and my team as we prepare. Mm. But mm. the mindfulness, even the even this morning, um, the Lord reminded me to reach out to someone to say to her, I hope you'll be there early mm. because you are the one that needs to do this mm. because God had given her the revelation of that particular thing. Yeah. And she was like, oh my God, I am so honored. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And, I'm, I'm, and, and she was like, oh, I'm, I'm teary already. And I'm like, that is just to show how mindful God, God is, is of us. Yes. Every yes. single one of us, <laughs> how mindful it God will be, it is of us. Mm. And that's going to show up in many ways yeah it's going to show up for some of us in a car just driving to you on that day mm -hmm. at home where you're contemplating how do i get there mm -hmm. and say oh do, are you going to lecture i'm on I'm my way to lecture right. <laughs> it will be that easy mm -hmm. 
it would arrive it will show up in the place of someone is looking for tea fair mm. and someone is receiving a, a plane ticket to come mm. 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 you just need to key in and no i'm not that person i have no need to hide for you you see in this rot i'm happy to do it all by myself in my house <laughs> and take all the lavish but God wouldn't let us do that, would yes, he? Yes, so there will be no vacuum and God will be mindful of you. Mm. What that means, therefore, is <coughs> you can't show up. Thank you. You cannot show up thinking, oh, will God see me today? Uh -huh. My dear brother and sister, he's seen you already. The Bible says before, while we were yet speaking, he mm. heard mm. and he mm. answered. Mm. The mindfulness of God in this season mm. is that kind of mindfulness. Mm. While you are contemplating, mm. while you are thinking about it, he will get it done. done. Hallelujah. He will get it done. Hallelujah. Irene, mm. we're still waiting for Hunene to be able to <laughs> join us. I do not know why this is such a challenge, a challenge for people right. to come on on the show. I don't know mm. that it's, I don't I don't know whether it's a Facebook thing, but um, the, we have also had people be able to join. Yeah, so um, this may just be an internet um, converse, um, issue. issue. Anyhow, Irene, hmm. what do you want My to say? My very to? first Roth, 2014, remains a landmark for me. Hmm. It was the first time that I was coming out in the open <laughs> with the anxiety of my story when I came and I ministered in Grace for Glory. Mm. And it was actually the launching pad for a word that God had given me before the amputation of both legs. And uh, that, you know, after I had uh, the lung transplant and the amputation and the word of God was that um, he, I would go and share my testimony everywhere he would open the door for me. And I just couldn't imagine what that was all about. Of course, riding on that wood was that he had given me the feet of grace that would take me to places my natural feet could not have taken me. And so when I came to Roth in 2014 and stood on that stage and shared that story, it was the fulfillment of God's word for me. And ever since then, it's remained with me that when God says he will do, consider it done. done. Hmm. And from thence on, it was being more and more and more doors being opened in places I could never have imagined that I would walk to to share that story. So for me, 2014 will always remain a landmark experience mm -hmm. because I saw God's word to me being fulfilled. And there was a lot of clarity that God gave me about my mission my the ministry he's calling me to what he wants to do with my story at that meeting i can never forget that experience <laughs> yes and then um, that's not even just an iron experience only um i think that of uh, since 2011 it's from 2011 mm. we started to have people come from the u.s mm. to be part of the rot conference mm. whether they came as speakers or they came just to be Participant. uh, be participant mm. what i have found in that time in that time mm. is that every single one of them and i can read out names and you can mm. go and check them out mm. every single one of them came to rot mm. left rot and began their ministry. God just launched them into whatever it is that he had been calling them to do in that time. Mm -hmm. And so that also means that you can come with that expectation mm -hmm. and say, Lord, when I show up, mm -hmm. Father Lord, the thing that has been incubating on the inside yeah. of me, yeah. may there be something or someone to mm -hmm. call it. May there be a word that will, that will call, call it forth. forth yeah. So that when you leave, mm -hmm. the how to, the steps will begin to crystallize for you. And you begin to find yourself on the launching pad yeah. and on the, yourself doing what God is called you to do prophetically. Because every day since this, um, uh, this, I think in the last two weeks, there's no day that God doesn't show me prophetic signs of what rot is about. See the prophetic sign of abundance. I am <laughs> clear that you cannot read it, you cannot and read I it. promise you, I did not write this check for my to myself. <laughs> This check was reading by someone, and I promise you this check is not in Naira. <laughs> this is a prophetic sign that there is also a grace 
for an abundance, abundance that the Lord yeah. is releasing upon rot, mm. upon rot for this mm. year. So if you are also coming mm. and the issue is you have needs and you've been speaking to God about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. So let's talk about the blessings too. Okay. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that one was something else. You know, when she told me that was going to be white, I said, oh, oh no, no, you keep declining. It says to me, you are declining. I don't know why. Um, it says to me you are declining. When I add you, mm -hmm. it declines. So that you may be you you might be touching the wrong um mm -hmm. the wrong button or something. You know, when she told me that we're gonna wear white at Roth um 2016, was it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's like white cake. Okay. And then there were some other instructions that came with Bertins too. The story of Bertins too is a story for <laughs> that we can keep talking about over and over again. But my experience of the business tour was intense because I came there, I just wanted to be quiet and I sat quiet. But because there was something I needed to birth that had reached a position of, um, it's like when you, you give him back, you're you at you labor and labor just stops, right? Hmm. And the baby is <laughs> ready to come out and nothing is progressing. And the daughters are beginning to consider whether they're going to have to do a CS to bring that baby out because it must come out by force. I was there with my book. Believe me, I birthed that book, Grace in the Storms, nearly six weeks after. after. I had reached a stage where it was as if I couldn't push anymore with hmm. Grace in the Storm. Wow. It was like a wall of resistance just to, you know, rose up against that book. And it had happened several times before I was able to overcome it, but this one was intense. After great, after birth, I went to the United States and I locked myself up in the room and that book finished. Wow. Finished it and I sent her a message, burst, burst, just in the storms burst. So, I mean, I can talk from now to tomorrow about my experiences of raising the storms. I'm uh, sorry, my experiences of wrath and what has been birthed in me through wrath. Look, wrath is not a place that you come to looking to man or to any woman. You come with your eyes fixed on Jesus. You come with your eyes fixed on God. You come with your spirit heightened to connect with the Holy Spirit. And you come with such an expectation that God, thou shall not pass me by. Mm. I mean, the, I want to be seen. I want to be noticed. I want to have a personal experience of you. And I've had that. Which one did we wear, Peach? Uh, that's 2017. 2017. That one had me on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> you remember, I had to take off my prosthetic legs, eh? Because this thing, I needed to be on the floor. And I couldn't go on the floor with my prosthetic limbs. I said, okay, there's no dainty dainty here. When you are in the Holy Spirit, have a, an encounter, you don't touch. I removed prosthetic legs, put it in one side, and went on the floor. And what God did with that experience. Sorry for another uh, day. Yes, and that particular rod, that was 2017. Yeah, that was Some, run. Yes, yeah. run, 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 woman, run. run. Yeah. Something happened at that conference that I'll never forget. It was about... 7 30 quarter to eight because on rot days we get to the venue at mm. seven mm. we are there through the previous day and at 7 a.m we are already there the team is already there because we don't want people getting there before us and i remember that i had i was up front and i needed to do something outside so mm. i started to walk to the door and as I walked towards the door, I saw a young lady standing. This was about quarter to 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. And she was crying. Mm. She was standing there. The conference had not started. We had not even queued the worship. Mm. The people were still going around. They were still putting sweets on the table. Mm -hmm. We were still hugging each other. Mm. People were still doing their selfies. <laughs> and I, I had walked past her, then I realized she was weeping profusely. Mm -hmm. So I came back because I was scared for a minute. Did we do something? What went wrong with this young lady? And I walked back to her and I said to her, is there a problem? 
And she said, I don't know. I just entered on the Holy Spirit. And she was crying. And she was crying. And she wept. And she wept. And she wept. And she said, I don't know. I just entered. And I just saw the ambience. And I just knew God was here. And she started to cry. Hallelujah. The, the, the consequence of that was 2018, 2019, 2020. This young lady did all the designs wow. for the Rod Conference wow. for free. Wow. Every publicity design we did in the next three years, mm -hmm. she'll just show up and say, God told me <laughs> that I have to do this. I'd never forget the day we walked into, I walked into the Rod Conference. And that is the kind of experience yes. that people can yes. have. Yes. Because the reason why I share it mm -hmm. is because, you know, you, that is not where you come from. You come to waiting for someone to lay hands mm -hmm. on you. Because Absolutely. sometimes mm. nobody has that time. Mm. Mm. Rot mm. is not a place where you come and you're waiting for someone to come and pray with or you. Or speak a that's word why, yes, specific. No, that's why you <laughs> must work on your expectation. Yeah. It's mm. not by hyping anything. Just go to God and say, Lord, I am coming to you. Mm. I want you to meet with me. Mm. Mm. And I'll be quick to tell you. That, you know, some other minister will say to you, it's because we spent 40,000 hours in praying. That's why it is so. <laughs> no, when it comes to rot, we do pray. All. We do all of those of spiritual course, things. Of course, of but course. everything that manifests at the rot prophetic conference is all God. Yeah. There is no prayer that mm. I would pray as far as I'm mm. concerned mm. that will bring the glory down the way the Lord releases his glory upon us on, the, on yeah. that day. So this is not even about, okay, <coughs> Pastor B and her team are praying. And again, we pray. We do pray. I'm not saying we don't pray. And we pray But I'm saying bit. that the magnitude of the presence of God cannot be can explained. never be because we prayed. No, it can't be explained by the It can never be no. because we prayed. No, I am still no. waiting for God to tell me why. He does what he does with the Rod Conference. He doesn't owe you any explanation. Yeah, well, yeah, he that, doesn't owe you any explanation. Know. But the <laughs> things that I see at the Rod Conference, from the very first one in 2008, mm -hmm. and this is 2022, mm -hmm. There's not the one wrath that will leave and we'll be like, I'm not sure that God no. came. You were not at the one in 2019. Mm -hmm. But in 2019, it was the first time in a long time that we were taking a haul the way they don't, that is not used as a worship center. Mm -hmm. Because the, 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 the template for the Rod Conference is we would only convene the conference in a, a place where there is a worship center, yes. a place that is a worship center. Mm -hmm. By 2019, somehow I forgot that one instruction. Mm -hmm. And because we wanted to hold on the island, we found this place. It was a nice place when we went to see it. Mm -hmm. But on the day of the conference, the guy who was supposed to be the manager of that place put himself on loan to the devil. It was crazy. I mean, it was a nightmare. So much so that for the first maybe 40 minutes of worship, I sat where I was seated. More than, in fact, the first, the first set of worship through the the first session mm. that my sister Audrey Joe Isibo took. I sat there and I was thinking to myself, surely this is not wrath. What surely is something is wrong. Surely this is not wrong. Wrath. Eventually mm. the Lord just propelled me and I stood up and I went there and I went and I squatted. I didn't I didn't kneel. I squatted because the Lord says squat. Because I, I have learned over time that in the north when you want to um, curtsy to someone mm -hmm. of significance, mm -hmm. you yes, squat. Yes. So I squatted and I started to just worship God. Mm. And I think Sashola is on this call. Sashola, you are that rot. Mm -hmm. In like, I don't know how long we did that, but the heaven just opened up. And Sashola was there with her sister, her younger sister. Mm -hmm. She said, the moment that happened. Her sister turned to her and said, your pastor just resets this atmosphere. Okay, start, start with me. You were there as well. He was crazy. The point I'm making is that in that atmosphere where we had a 
a, a demon in human form <laughs> trying to manifest as mm. much as he was trying hard to manifest Take and he manifests throughout that day mm. at the end of that conference some of you would not know that he locked us in oh. and said we couldn't go that we overshot our stay by maybe 30 minutes or something wow. it was crazy but that's to tell you how cantankerous these people were but god still broke through and Thank so when I say Jesus. there can be no barrier, no. I am mm. not joking. There mm. can be no barrier. And this season, this particular mm. edition, I have prayed. Anyone that wants to come and stress me that day, <laughs> that day they wake up in their homes and they can't come out. The Lord will help me give them work. Because it's this work... It has the, to be with Oh, no, 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 no. no. It, it will be ease in the name of Jesus. Amen. There is a lavish of peace lavish of peace mm. you know when i was praying about growth because i always ask god what my assignment at each world is supposed to be and it was a specific thing that god was it asked me to be praying about right i'm not a liberty to release but as i was praying about that you know the conclusion of the matter is that as many of you that are coming to us they're going to be traveling just to be arrested in the morning there is an abundance, a lavish of peace, if an ease. It's like a carrying, right? Mm -hmm. And that is what is going to manifest. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see God, and I'm going to hear testimony of ease, of a carrying. You're going to feel as if you're being carried, you're, being, you're floating as you come to a rough. And I am trusting God to see the testimonies, to hear the testimonies, to see it manifest. Those of you who are traveling by air, the angels are carrying you hmm. to us. Hmm. There'll be no Just delays. No delays. There'll be no flight delays. <laughs> There'll be no flight cancellations. Ease. We've been telling the Lord that no Fever. delays, no flight cancellations, favor, upgrades. <laughs> I like that. Yes, upgrade upgrades. <laughs> All kinds of things. You I went into a prayer about this upgrade when I was coming from Geneva. Don't worry, now that you're going, you know, all your travels in between, the Lord will give you upgrades. Upgrades. <laughs> yes. And all of those things will happen. But I have news. Um, Dr. Irene's second book, what's the title? 55 Chapters of, of, God's, gra grace. of God's Grace. 55 Chapters of God's Grace. She has lovely... <laughs> giving us a hundred copies, autographed copies, and those hundred copies, yeah. we go to the first hundred people who come. Oh, right. So when you come, if you're one of the first hundred, what was going to happen is that your bag will be heavier, your carry bag, because we always give a gift Good bag. Back. Your yes. gift bag will be heavier because a copy of that book will go in. How much is that book sold? Uh, it's uh, 7,000. So that book alone is 7,000 Naira and you are getting it in the bag. I want you to see what it is that we, the Lord is prepared for you. For the first time in a very long time, the Lord also told me to put a copy of a Fetra magazine. Okay. Everyone yes. who comes is gets get a cut. copy yes. of a Fetra magazine. Mm -hmm. And the funny thing is that the Fetra magazine, the price just went up. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It yes, just yes, went up and is now 2,000 Naira per copy. I thought it was yeah, no, 2,000 Naira. And now we put a copy of that in the bag as well. Now, let me say something about that. If you get a free copy of a Fetra, you are obligated, huh? To get a copy for another person. How did I come into a picture? One person came to me in church one Sunday in 2010 and gave me a copy of a picture in a brand envelope. That's how I got connected to this amazing woman of God. I opened it and I read a picture and I said, Wow, this came out of Nigeria. And since then, we've been committed to a picture. My mother, in her, when she was alive, was the chief distributor among our friends of Effectual. So when you get Effectual, do me this one favor. Hmm? Get a copy and give to somebody. Just give somebody a copy of Effectual. You're never going to know what God is going to use it to do. I am here with your pastor and my dear friend today because somebody gave me a gift of effectual. That's how I became a part of Roth. 
we became a part of each other's lives and our husbands became a part of each other's lives and our children became a part of each other's life. And that's the basis of one copy of effect from a gene. Thank you for that. But uh, here's the thing. I'm sorry, online people, we can't post. How many baths were we going to post? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sorry. It's for those who walk into the physical place. And that is the reason why you have to plan. If Jesus tarries for 2023, and make sure you walk into that. Who knows what God will do that day? But the, the, the goodie bags usually go to those who come, mm. who come in person, because mm. we can't bear the the brunt of having to Hosting. figure out because yes in 2020 for instance in 2020 for instance we had over people attended in their thousands so how are we going to do that um, Online, yeah. um i know it's lavish but the budget is not that lavish yet <laughs> no so, the budget is going to be lavish Let's so it's it. for those who come into the room physically that <laughs> get that then i'll tell you what everyone will get it, the morning after the conference, everyone is going to get a prophetic word. If you've been part of the Rod yes, Conference the yes, last three thing, years, yeah. the last two years, you know mm. that that happens. The very next morning, you will receive a prophetic word that God is sent to you. Mm. It's usually mm. a scripture. Mm. And those, some of you who came for the first time in the last, in 2020, for instance, mm. can tell yeah. that that word it works. It works. So we works. can be sure, you can be sure that you will get that from us, yes? Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus. So so yes, um, if next year the Lord says, because usually, actually, to be fair, yeah. we used to host about a thousand people, yes, a thousand one, a thousand two hundred people, eight hundred people at rot. But this year, you know how things have been because of mm -hmm. the COVID and everything. We are hosting maybe half of that number, mm -hmm. but we have spent. Almost much twice <laughs> much of more. what we would ever have more. spent. Much it's not, more. yes. Much more. But it's not, much we're more. not afraid. Mm. The point is, if you walk through that door, something is waiting for, for you. you. And the best part is, oh no, you're not paying for it. You don't, mm. we don't ask you for money at the gate. It is totally free. This is your father choosing one weekend mm. in the year to say, I see you, I love you. And I want to gift you with this. I don't even want to begin to talk to you about the food. <laughs> you see, every day when we come, we talk about the food, right? <laughs> Let's start with the small chops. Eh? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, can you hear that? the small chops? Eh? That one that you're going to pick that's so dainty that you're just going to, you know, savor it as though you are savoring the Holy Spirit ministering to you. Uh -huh. That one is part one. Yes. <laughs> and then part two comes so much later. And it this year it's going to be a buffet. Yes. And it's always been to, a buffet. Yeah. Yeah, but except yeah. for last year, they didn't let us do a buffet. Yes, so we yes. did part food. Mm. But this year we're doing a buffet. buffet. So mm. you will go and you would pick what you want to eat. I promise you, it is lavish. Okay. It is for lavish. those of you online, hmm, we will be praying along with you because this thing is about being <laughs> present. <laughs> But honestly, even if you're coming online, because I remembered in 2020 when we couldn't have a physical one, prepare yourself as if you are out of your home. Find a secluded place, sit and be 100% attentive. You don't want to miss your moment because there is a Kairos moment for everyone at Ross. That moment when something comes together for you. So if you're online, Lavish yourself with a good cheer, comfortable room, put your drinks, your food, your small chops, <laughs> and your lunch, just put it by, by you. I just really want to encourage you to pay full attention, to be fully present, even if you're online. And you never know, the Holy Spirit may say something should flow to those online as well. We wait and hear. Perhaps. <laughs> if we hear it, we are obedient children. We are very obedient. Not the Nigerian obedient. We are obedient <laughs> to the God of heaven. And we will follow through with every instructions he gives us. Yes? Mm -hmm. And no... Um, the God hasn't told us, no, the rot is not coming to Port Harcourt. God did not tell <laughs> us that. So we, 
if you want to be part of Roth, you have to get on a plane or you have to get in your car and you have to come here. The so only so place that we have had Roth outside of Lagos is Abuja in 2012. And God has even given us the, uh, the, the license or the opportunity to go yes. back there. The one place that I know in prophecy that God has told us that Roth will hold, that it hasn't held, is in New York. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so we are open up. We are opening up and we are trusting God for that. If someone couldn't sign up online, can we send the Zoom link to them? It's not a Zoom conference. You participate on oh, Facebook or oh, on YouTube. YouTube. It's yeah. not a Zoom conference. Yeah. So there's no Zoom link going out. Yeah. All your participation is on Facebook oh, and is on YouTube. Both of them is Bidemi McMordy. Yeah. So um, if you want to be part of the conference and you are in Nigeria, it's yeah. not too late to come to see Lagos. When yes. you are coming, you will see once you pass one place, the road to this is Lagos. You have reached Lagos. <laughs> <laughs> and if you just continue to drive straight, you will soon reach where road is holding. But yes, this is where the Lord is told, planted us yes. in this season. Yes. Maybe it will change. I don't know. But I don't think that... Um, um, it will be changing anytime soon. Uh, until the Lord yes, says. until the Lord says. But yeah. so, if you want to be part of us, mm -hmm. it's not too late. And then perhaps someone calls you on Friday night and mm -hmm. say, "I did not register. Can I still go in person?" Definitely, Absolutely. you can come. Absolutely. And then maybe you registered and said, "I would do it online." And all these things we're saying is just making you think like, "Ha, the online care. Me now I'm not doing online again. No. Can you still come? I Absolutely. promise you, there is you a can chair still come. There is a you. chair with your name on it. <laughs> what I know is that for everyone who would come, God has already made a, prov a, a provision. A provision yeah. for yeah. this money. I was chatting with someone. She said, "I'm trying to get my sister to come." Hmm. And I said, let me call, her, send her a message. Hmm. And I sent her a message and I said, there is hmm. a, there is an encounter with your name on it. There is a chair with your name on it. So don't let anything stop you. Mm -hmm. And in 10 minutes, she made the decision it's and she's show. coming. <laughs> Brethren, this is what it is like. But I want to hear your experiences. Mm -hmm. If you've ever been at a Roth conference mm -hmm. before, can you mm -hmm. share in the comments yes. what was your experience like? Whether you were online oh, yes, or you, you can were in person. Oh, yes, you can oh, host watch parties. Oh, yes, you can host. Yeah, oh, definitely. Yes, definitely you can definitely, host definitely. watch parties. Definitely. Oh, I need Just, to drop this in. Mm -hmm. Come with your husband. Yes, I've been telling them. Come with your husband. I've been begging too. them. Mm. Dr. Peter <laughs> is, is the man after my heart. Come he doesn't just come. Do. He sits down and he <laughs> participates. <laughs> So, I have been yes, coming with my husband from day one. Yes, don't allow <laughs> them drop you and go out with the boys. You need to do the work and say, guy, it's for both men and women. Please come. Oh, somebody just bought fuel. Yeah. Yes. I told and you, in Jesus' ease. name, your generator will not have issues. Ease. We are lifting every ease. of those things. Ease. Everyone who's desired to be part of Rot, whether mm. you desire to be there in person or you to be there virtually, the Lord will make a way from you. you in yeah. the name of yeah. Jesus. Yeah. As a matter yeah. of fact, I also chatted with someone this morning and she's coming in from Canada and she said, I'm, I said, we have canceled the delays already. Yeah. If one flight will leave where you are leaving from, it will be your own. Mm. Yeah. It will be Praise your God. own. So we are praying mm. for you. I need you to know that we are praying for you, mm. that you will not be distracted, that you will be focused, mm. that you will not have itchy ears, mm. that you hear exactly what God is prepared exactly. for you for that exactly. day. Exactly. It doesn't matter who's bringing it. Even if I'm the one bringing it and you don't like me, you will still hear <laughs> in Jesus' name. So that's what is going to happen. Exactly, because why are you buying fuel when you are in Lagos? <laughs> Well, for her car now. You okay, for your car. Time. Oh, I'm not vexed. <laughs> yes, not true. We, we, filled, for... we filled our all our cars yesterday. <laughs> That's true. Because we are going to be doing runs yeah, and runs. Yeah. And guess what? Mama Blessing is in the house. Yay, Mama, Mama Blessing, Blessing arrived yesterday yes. in Lagos. God, yes, my mother has day. not missed one run. <laughs> my mother has not her. missed one run. <laughs> and and the... she did not come empty. I know Mama day. Blessing oh, never comes goodness. empty handed. She came with a a, a, a truckload of stuff. All kinds of all things. Kind of so stuff. if Mama Blessing, who is over 70, is <laughs> here at Rod, you will call it into you. 
<laughs> no less something to you. It will not be told you that you missed in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So Amen. I'm waiting for you. What do you want to ask me next? Yes, we're looking out. Any questions? Yes, any questions? Yes. Maybe we will actually do a post rot session yes. every day aside yes. from saturday yes. tomorrow after the first session we'll probably do a post rot session mm -hmm. at noon too mm -hmm. and see what it was like for you the first mm -hmm. session before the second session mm -hmm. let me just also talk about day two evening session day two evening session is worship from the beginning to the end is two hours of solid worship because God has told us to put that ahead of us, mm -hmm. our gathering ahead of our gathering in person mm -hmm. on Saturday. Mm -hmm. I need you, to read this. To you, you want to, you mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. <laughs> let me read this to you. Mm -hmm. said, expect the one who raised the dead to reach out for you and start with praise. Uh -huh. Let praise fill the atmosphere around you as you wait for him to act on your behalf. Yep. So um, the last, the, 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 uh, the second session on Friday is worship. Our worship minister is ready. It's just worship from the beginning to the end. Two solid hours of just being on our faces before God. Hallelujah. Being on our faces before God. This is something that we make us happy in the diaspora now. Okay, the diaspora. Um, I'll go and ask God whether I can bring it to you. <laughs> I love all of you in diaspora, and I I know that the time zones may not even be mm. convenient, mm. but you have made up your mind that you will be part of mm. this road conference. Mm. What this is what I'm going to say. I know someone who said she had taken time off work oh, already, yeah. just because she doesn't want to be distracted mm. in her participation of road. Mm. So what am I going to say to those of you in diaspora? It is that every discomfort, mm. everything you had to do to make extra mm, work mm, mm. or to make it um to make the extra effort to, to be part mm. of this wrath mm. the god of heaven we bend over backwards for you too. Honor in it. the He's name of jesus honor he will honor jesus every jesus effort that you every make every to be effort. part of this yes. in the yes. name of jesus and especially for those of you who's going to have to make a huge sacrifice mm. to be able to participate yes. i don't know what that sacrifice represents for you mm -hmm. but just lay it on the altar and trust that God is going to honor it, you know, and there is going to be a meeting point for you, an encounter for you, even as you come on on the virtual. God still loves you and he wants to lavish you with his extravagant love and goodness. Oh yes, yes. Sister Margaret, yes. From tomorrow we begin to wear the colors. The first <laughs> thing I did this morning was to say to uh, my sister to bring out the colors so so they are hanging somewhere. The one for tomorrow morning mm -hmm. and I even get to wear a different color every, every session. Day. So oh, wow. tomorrow morning is a different color. Tomorrow evening is a different oh, wow. color. On Friday morning <laughs> is a different color. On Friday Friday evening is a different color. And if Jesus helps me, I may just be changing all the colors on Saturday. Who knows? <laughs> but don't forget again that if you come on Saturday and something did when your cloth is finer than me, if I even dreamt that your cloth is finer than me, I will send you a message. You will wash toilets. Can you imagine? I said, you shouldn't mind me. You will see now. I will send you to toilet duty. So by yourself, just make sure that your cloth no fine. In fact, if you are online and your cloth is finer than my cloth, you will still wash toilet. <laughs> ah, there are going to be plenty of us there. Don't worry. <laughs> So yes, we can wear different colors for the different days. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. And teaching your cloth must not be finer than my own, no. <laughs> because remember all of you that you Look, will do this yourself. This is something is. that I can assure you. Her face eh, is going to be so fixed on God that she will not notice your cloth. Yeah? So no, we don't we don't have anything to worry about. She you know the way she is at Ross, eh? she won't see your cloth. So come. See, if you if you take a selfie. <laughs> And say, getting ready for us, or all dressed up and waiting for us. And I say, your cloth fine, pass my room. I will send the police to your house. Just wait. 
<laughs> I see that day. My brethren, this is going to be it's such to be a good time. It's going to, it's going to be, be such yeah. a good time. Yeah. Um, the processing that I have received, mm. if you notice my voice changed, mm. the processing that I have received towards this world mm. is not like the others I have mm. received. Mm. I have mm. not received mm. a prophecy of a, a, pro a processing of revelation. Mm -hmm. I've just received a prophecy, a processing, processing. of getting working of working on myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the processing I have mm -hmm. received. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, mm -hmm. I sent Shola a message and I said, I am in school regarding mm -hmm. this one. <laughs> so I, what has happened yeah. in preparing for Road 2022 is God is removing all the chuku chuku. He's mm -hmm. just saying, that one, you need to take care of that. Mm -hmm. That one, you need to mm -hmm. take care of that. Yes, you yes. need to let the light come in there. Mm -hmm. So even I am getting processed mm -hmm. and I'm not getting processed in expectation. Mm -hmm. I'm getting processed in making sure that I'm fit yeah. to arrive yeah on the med the colors are um orange green blue and purple pick your you can pick any anyone one. you want we, we, you just pick what color works for you mm -hmm. whatever color you choose out of those four colors for that day there is a seat with your name on it mm -hmm. there is a seat with your name mm -hmm. on it so everyone please remember from tomorrow when you are gaily dressed just take your pictures and post them on your timeline and say we're ready for yes. Roth 20 Roth prophetic conference 2022 hashtag Roth 2022 hashtag mm -hmm. lavish roth hashtag mm -hmm. um roth lavish or something that. like that I, I all, all of those hash, hashtags <laughs> use them tomorrow yeah. so that we can collate all of your pictures and do a collage with them when we are ready so yes trds wear your blue tomorrow I don't know whether I'm wearing blue tomorrow, no, but we shall see. Blue is not part of my we shall see. Uh -huh. <laughs> Can you see this? So every one of us, let's be ready. Yes. Have you not invited your neighbor yet? Mm -hmm. If you will see why I'm this one, did I not tell you that you are supposed to be inviting your neighbor? Mm -hmm. I know you don't like your neighbor. I know you think your neighbor is the biggest sinner in Nigeria <laughs> or wherever you live at this time, but you still need to re um, go in invite them, tell them something mm. is happening. Mm. The mm. Lord is coming mm. and we need you to be part of it. Someone mm. sent a message to one of my sisters today to say all the way from Jordan mm. and said, what are the, I'm wearing, I think she said she was going to wear purple mm -hmm. and she'll be there. Oh no, she's not, I don't think she's Nigerian. She's not Nigerian, okay. but she, she, she joins the prayer call and she's made up her mind to get in touch you know, to be in sync and aligned yes, with what yes, God is doing yes, on Saturday. Yes. I remember in 2020, 2020, we had people join from Australia mm -hmm. all over the world. And it's not going to be different oh, yes. this time. Absolutely so you need to not. know that even if you are somewhere outside of the room or you are in the room, we are one family. The Lord yeah, is going to yeah, connect yeah, us yeah, by his yeah, spirit. Yeah, so there's yeah. nothing like, oh, I am not able to flow. Mm -mm. If you put mm -mm. yourself in that frame of mind, you mm -mm. will flow with us. Actually, it's going to be such a heart. wonderful thing yeah, for you heart. to do. Yeah. Sir Jumoke, we are looking forward to. I'm looking forward to seeing you early, Momo, on Saturday. You know what I'm saying? You get it? I'm sure you get it. So, every one of yeah. us, please mm. talk to your neighbors. Bring mm. your children. My mm. son, I only have one of my children in Lagos at this time. Usually, they try to come mm. for Roth, but um, work and they've just the reality that they are growing up um, <laughs> has made it impossible for uh, all three of them to participate this year. But my son, uh, Kenichi, who is around, walked up to me yesterday and said, what does blue mean again? What is the meaning for blue? Mm -hmm. So I told him, I, I read to him all of them, and I said, do you want to wear purple? He said, no, nah, I'm going to stick with blue. <laughs> that tells you that everyone in my house is getting ready. My happiness said, I want to go to Labish. Labish. I want to go to Labish. <laughs> and yesterday she asked me, she said, mommy, which cloth will I wear to Labish? And I said to her, now you buy my own clothes. She said, eh, no. I said, so why are you asking me what you wear to lavish go check your wardrobe what you wear to lavish the point is every one of us mm. every one of us mm. is planning to be aligned yes i do not know what the lord 
I can't tell you the fullness of what God wants to do because the Bible says we know in part oh, and we prophesy yeah. in part. Yeah. So there's nothing like I've seen it. I never see I'm plenty like that, but I know that God is going to glimpse. do something. Just getting glimpses. Yeah, yeah. And I know mm. it's not just for me. Mm. I know it's because of you, yeah. and yeah. you, and you that God has made this plan. Mm. I pray mm. is that you will be there to receive that which he has called Amen. you to. Amen. He has decided to give Amen. to you in the Amen. name of Amen. Jesus. Um, if, do we have any more questions? We have six Come minutes. You with your heart, actually prepare your heart for this program. Study from tomorrow. You need to prepare. Ask the Holy Spirit oh, to ask forgot. you, to, to examine you. And check anywhere that needs to be lit up. It should just shine the light into your heart, into the deep places. Where do you need healing? Where are you broken that you need restoration? Where do you need new beginnings? Just begin to have a conversation with the Holy Spirit as you prepare your heart. Me, I have been on this journey for a while because my expectation of wrath is mega. And I don't want to miss out on the tiniest bit of it. And you see, when I come to Ross, I don't come about me. Actually, okay. I'm the last on the list of what I'm coming for. I come with all that I represent, and I bring them before God. Prepare your heart to receive. Okay, so I have not said this in the last three days. I need to say it. Mm. Do not allow someone to stand in your way. I promise you, if you've not seen it before, mm -hmm. drivers will misbehave. Mm -hmm. House helps will burn your food. Mm -hmm. Somebody will even try to attempt to burn your cloth. So iron your cloth by yourself. <laughs> I'm not joking. You will Somebody get... will try to eck you. Husbands will begin to manifest. Wives will begin to over manifest. <laughs> Don't just I join. with the wives. Yeah. <laughs> Here's what I'm saying, because that's how my husband would say, like, if I manifest you, you over manifest. So let me just own it for once. Um, this is what I'm saying. Yeah. People will try to yes. sully your yes. waters yes. before yes. you get there. Don't if you're coming sensitive. with public transport or maybe you got an Uber or a boat, be don't sensitive. allow someone upset you. Mm. Yeah. If, they, if they upset you, tell them. Mm. Bless you. <laughs> Tell them God bless you. Mm, mm. And it's really true. I've come to a wrath before that I was offended just before coming in. And the first hour, I couldn't push through anywhere. I had to deal with that. And it wasn't as if I deliberately wanted to be offended. Somebody did something that really hurt me just before we were coming to God. And it was like, ah, I carried that third coming in. And the first hour, massive block. But soon, of course, Holy Spirit will not let you rest. So if I so, had a scripture for that, it would be Psalm 15. Mm -hmm. Who shall ascend mm -hmm. to the hills of the Almighty? Yeah. Clean hands are important. Yes. And I'm telling you now that even if when you finish washing your hands, somebody will want to put something. <laughs> Don't let them move. In fact, as a matter of fact, just carry a bottle of water. If they push sand in your hand just wash it don't say see as you put sand for my hand just wash it by yourself and put your hand in your pocket do not be upset if your tailor did not sew your cloth don't quarrel let me tell you what else you can do with that bottle of water when somebody says something to you that is likely to offend you drink water drink water, drink water. And keep that water in your mouth mm -hmm. did you hear that mm -hmm. Drink mm -hmm. it in your mouth and hold the water hold in the your water mouth so that, so that you don't say what you are not supposed to <laughs> exactly. say. See, if your tailor did you like this, no vex, so. no vex. Look for look for a sash in the color and show up in that sash. Don't be angry. Oh. Mm. Offense cannot. Honestly. Offense will stand between it you. It will. It so will. please don't allow it offense will. offense mm. to rear its, its hot, ugly head. Yeah. If someone said they were coming to pick you, and at eight o'clock they have not come, just jet jelly. Find, find your way. Don't be angry. 
And when they finally come at 11, hug them and just sit down and face your front. You. I don't know why God Do is not say, I did this, not so. tell you. There's somebody who needs to hear this. So. Don't get please, yourself riled up. Please. Don't allow the devil to use what does not matter mm. to rob you of mm. what he has prepared exactly. for you. Do exactly. not allow yourself to get angry. Mm. This is the one that when they say to you, what is that word? I don't know how the word says, uh, the Bible, the biblical word for idiot. Mm. You turn and say, God bless, bless you. you. <laughs> they are saying you are idiot. does not make you idiot. Too. No. Don't mm. allow anyone just be sensitive, mess with please. you. You, you know, you just need to be sensitive mm -hmm. and you need to be sensitive. You need to be discerning. Be mindful in the of name you. Of, yes, be, be mindful, mindful of, of you. you. Yes, please be mindful of you. Mm. Be mindful of you. Mm. If you came out of your flat <laughs> and your neighbor has parked car to block you, no quarrel, just <laughs> open your motto, take what you put last night, <laughs> just leave. If you're asking you, you're not you say, no, I'm not going with my I'm car again. This. Don't quarrel. My jaw. <laughs> okay? Do not quarrel. May God be kind to Amen. you. In Jesus' Amen. name. Questions We've yes. come. Yes, I don't see any I questions. So we're going to just wrap mm. this up today. Yeah. For today, it's been a fantastic one hour again that flies like that talking to you all things so rough. <laughs> Reverend, I am not a hype master. Even if I were a hype master, I'm not hyping this one. Mm. There is plenty of track record yeah. to prove to yeah. you yeah. that these things we've said to you today mm. are the truth. Mm. If you have mm. never been to rot before, mm. make the plans. Mm. If you have someone you love dearly, come then over. ask them to come. Mm. Everyone needs to come. And I know that God will be waiting for each one of us on that day. Amen. We're so sorry, Ohunene Kundun, join us. Honestly, honestly, um, honestly we're really looking forward to this. Maybe if you can tomorrow in the post rot analysis, yes. if you can, we may just do a live together. Yes. You know that you don't have to be joining online, okay? I'm so but happy I decided to wait that. and do yes. this. You know, so thank yeah. you so much, everyone, thank for being you. part of it this thank afternoon. You. Remember, kickoff time tomorrow is mm. 9 a.m. At 9 a.m., the shofar will go off and the conference will open. Hallelujah. And God is going to come through in the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Thank you again. We look forward to hosting you. And my brothers and sisters in diaspora, or you are all uh, not in Lagos, mm. we're so sorry we may not be able to get the bags to you, but I'm sure that God will get you a gift even more than what we so are like giving. In the God name of Jesus, because that's a love special. So God something will touch special. you with something special by yes. himself. Amen. In Jesus' name. Thank Amen. you. We love you. And we'll see you <laughs> Love on you. Saturday. See you on Saturday. God bless you. I'm so excited. I'll see you online tomorrow. Yes. Have yes. a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye. <laughs>